Today we're opening video number 8 of the 2019 to 2023 general class question study pool. My name is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club. Today's first topic will cover G7C, receivers and transmitters, filters and oscillators. G7C01, which of the following is used to process signals from the balanced modulator, then send them to the mixer in some single sideband phone transmitter? A. Carry oscillator. B. Filter. C. IF filter. D. RF amplifier. Answer here is B. Filter. G7C02, which circuit is used to combine signals from the carrier, oscillator, and speech amplifier, then send the result to the filter in some single sideband phone transmitter? A. Discriminator. B. Detector. C. IF amplifier. Or D. Balanced modulator. Answer is D. Balanced modulator. G7C03. What circuit is used to process signals from the RF amplifier and local oscillator, then send the result to the IF filter in superheterodyne receiver? A. Balanced modulator. B. IF amplifier. C. Mixer. Or D. Detector. Answer is C. Mixer. G7C04. What circuit is used to combine signals from the IF amplifier and BFO and send the result to the AF amplifier in some single sideband receivers? A. RF oscillator. B. IF filter. C. Balanced modulator. Or D. Product detector. Answer is D. Product detector. G7C05. Which of the following is an advantage of a direct digital sensitizer? DDS. A. Wide tuning range and no need for band switching. B. Relatively high power output. C. Relatively low power consumption. Or D. Variable frequency with the stability of a crystal oscillator. Answer is D. Variable frequency with the stability of a crystal oscillator. G7C06. What should the impedance be of a low pass filter as compared to the impedance of the transmission line which it is inserted? A. Substantially higher. B. About the same. C. Substantially lower. Or D. Twice the transmission line impedance. Answer is B. About the same. G7Z07. Which is the simplest combination of stages that implement a superheterodyne receiver? A. RF amplifier detector audio amplifier. B. RF amplifier mixer IF discriminator. C. HF oscillator, mixer, detector, or D. HF oscillator, prescaler, and audio amplifier? Answer is C. HF oscillator, mixer, detector. G7C08. What circuit is used in analog FM receivers to convert IF output signals to audio? A. Product detector, B. Phase inverter, C. Mixer, or D. Discriminator. correct answer is D, discriminator. G7C09, what is the phase difference between the I and Q signals that our software-defined radio equipment uses for modulation and demodulation? A, 0, B, 90 degrees, C, 180 degrees, or D, 45 degrees? Answer is B, 90 degrees. G7C10, what is an advantage of using I and Q signals in software-defined radios? A, the need for high resolution analog to digital converters is eliminated. B. All types of modulation can be created with appropriate processing. C. Minimum detectable signal level is reduced. Or D. Converting the signal from digital to analog creates mixing products. Answer is B. All types of modulation can be created with appropriate processing. G7C11. What is meant by the term software defined radio? Abbreviated SW or SDR. A. A radio in which most major signal processing functions are performed by software. B. A radio that provides computer interface for automatic logging of band and frequency. C. A radio that uses crystal filters designed using software. Or D. A computer model that can simulate performance of a radio to aid in the process, in the design process. Correct answer is A, a radio in which most major signal processing functions are performed by software. G7C12, what is the frequency above which a low-pass filter's output power is less than half the input power? 
A. Notch frequency. B. Nepper frequency. C. Cutoff frequency. Or D. Roll-off frequency. Answer is C. Cutoff frequency. G7C13. What term specifies a filter's maximum ability to reject signals outside its passband? A. Notch depth. B. Roll-off. C. Insertion loss. Or D. Ultimate rejection. Answer is D. Ultimate rejection. G7C14. The bandwidth of a band pass filter is measured between what two frequencies? A. Upper and lower half power. B. Cutoff and roll off. C. Pole and zero. Or D. Image and harmonic. Answer is A. Upper and lower half power. G7C15. What term specifies a filter's attenuation inside its passband? A. Insertion loss. B. Return loss. C. Q. Or D. Ultimate rejection. Correct answer is A. Insertion loss. G7C16. Which of the following is a typical application for a direct digital synthesizer? A. High stability variable frequency oscillator in a transceiver. B. A digital voltmeter. C. A digital mold interface between a computer and a transceiver. Or D. A high sensitivity radio direction finder. Answer is A. A high stability variable frequency oscillator in a transceiver. Subelement G8 covering signals and emissions. G8A starting off carriers and modulation, AM, FM, single sideband modulation envelope, digital modulation, and overmodulation. G8A01, how is a FSK signal generated? A by keying an FM transmitter with a subaudible tone. B by changing an oscillator's frequency directly with a digital control signal. C. By using a transceiver's computer data interface protocol to change frequencies. Or D. By reconfiguring the CW keying input to act as a tone generator. Answer is B. By changing the oscillator's frequency directly with a digital control signal. G8A02. What is the name of the process that changes the phase angle of an RF signal to convey information? A. Phase convolution. B. Phase modulation. C. Phase transformation or D, phase inversion? Answer is B, phase modulation. G8A03, what is the name of the process that changes the instantaneous frequency of an RF wave to convey information? A, frequency convolution. B, frequency transformation. C, frequency conversion. Or D, frequency modulation. Answer is D, frequency modulation. G8A04, what emission is produced by a reactance modulator connected to a transmitter RF amplifier stage? A. Multiplex modulation. B. Phase modulation. C. Amplitude modulation. Or D. Pulse modulation. Answer is B. Phase modulation. G8A05, what type of modulation varies the instantaneous power level of the RF signal? A. Frequency shift keying. B. Phase modulation. C. Frequency modulation, or D. Amplitude modulation. Answer is D. Amplitude modulation. G8A06, which of the following is characteristics of QPSK31? A. It is sideband sensitive. B. Its encoding provides error correction. C. Its bandwidth is approximately the same as BPSK31. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Answer is D. All of these choices are correct. G8A07, which of the following phone emissions uses the narrowest bandwidth? A, single sideband, B, double sideband, C, phase modulation, or D, frequency modulation? Answer is A, single sideband. G8A08, which of the following is an effect of overmodulation? A, insufficient audio, B, insufficient bandwidth, C, frequency drift, or D, excessive bandwidth? Answer is D, excessive bandwidth. G8A09, what type of modulation is used by the FT8 digital mode? A, 8-tone frequency shift keying. B, vestigial sideband. C, amplitude compressed AM. Or D, direct sequence spread spectrum. Correct answer is A, 8-tone frequency shift keying. G8A10, what is meant by the term flat topping when referring to a single sideband phone transmission? A, signal distortion caused by insufficient collector current. B. The transmitter's automatic level control is properly adjusted. C. 
signal distortion caused by excessive drive, or D, the transmitter's carrier is properly suppressed. Answer is C, signal distortion caused by excessive drive. G8A11, what is the modulation envelope of an AM signal? A, the waveform created by connecting the peak values of the modulated signal. B, the carrier frequency that contains the signal. C, spurious signals that envelope nearby frequencies. D, the bandwidth of the modulated signal. Correct answer is A, the waveform created by connecting the peak values of the modulated signal. G8A12, which of the following narrow bandwidth digital modes can receive signals with very low signal to noise ratios? A, MSK144, B, FT8, C, Amtor, or D, MFSK32? Answer is B, FT8. Going on to G8B, covering frequency mixing, multiplication, bandwidths of various modes, deviation, duty cycle, and intermodulation. G8B01, which mixer input is varied or tuned to convert signals of different frequencies to an intermediate frequency? A, image frequency, B, local oscillator, C, RF input, or D, beat frequency oscillator? Answer, B, local oscillator. G8B02, if the receiver mixes a 13.800 MHz VFO with a 14.255 MHz received signal to produce a 455 kHz intermediate frequency, what type of interference will a 13.345 MHz signal produce in the receiver? A. Quadrature noise. B. Image response. C. Mixer interference. Or D. Intermediate ex interference. Correct answer is B. Image response. G8B03, what is another term for mixing of two RF signals? A. Heterodyning. B. Synthesizing. C. Canceling. Or D. Phase inverting. Answer is A. Heterodyning. G8B04, what is the stage in a VHF FM transmitter that generates a harmonic on a lower frequency signal to reach the desired operating frequency? A. Mixer. B. Reactance modulator. C. Pre-emphasis network, or D. Multiplier? Answer is D. Multiplier. G8B05, what is the approximate bandwidth of a PACTOR 3 signal at maximum data rate? A. 31.5 Hz, B. 500 Hz, C. 1800 Hz, or D. 2300 Hz? Answer is D. 2300 Hz. G8B06, what is the total bandwidth of a FM phone transmission having 5 kilohertz deviation and 3 kilohertz modulating frequency a 3 kilohertz b 5 kilohertz c 8 kilohertz or d 16 kilohertz correct answer is d 16 kilohertz g8b07 what is the frequency deviation for a 12.21 megahertz reactance modulated oscillator in a 5 kilohertz deviation 146.520 megahertz fm phone transmitter a, 101.75 Hz, B, 416.7 Hz, C, 5 kHz, or D, 60 kHz? Correct answer is B, 416.7 Hz. G8B08, why is it important to know the duty cycle of the mode you are using when transmitting? A, to aid in tuning your transmitter. B, some modes have high duty cycles that could exceed the transmitter's average power rating. C, to allow time for other stations to break in during a transmission, or D, the attenuator will have to be adjusted accordingly. Correct answer is B, some modes have high duty cycles that could exceed the transmitter's average power rating. G8B09, why is it a good to match receiver bandwidth to the bandwidth of the operating mode? A, it is required by FCC rules. B, it minimizes power consumption in the receiver. C, it improves impedance matching of the antenna. Or D, it results in the best signal-to-noise ratio. Answer is D, it results in the best signal-to-noise ratio. G8B10, what is the relationship between transmitted symbol rate and bandwidth? A, symbol rate and bandwidth are not related. B, higher symbol rates require wider bandwidth. C, lower symbol rates require la wider bandwidth. Or D, bandwidth is always half the symbol rate. Answer is B, higher symbol rates require wider bandwidth. 
G8B11, what combination of a mixer's local oscillator and RF input frequencies is found in the output? A. The ratio. B. The average. C. The sum and difference. Or D. The arithmetic product. The correct answer is C. The sum and the difference. G8B12, what process combines two signals in a nonlinear circuit or connection to produce unwanted spurious outputs? A. Intermodulation. B. Heterodyning. C. Detection. Or D. Roll-off. Answer is A. Intermodulation.